Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm vlogging. I'm actually on my phone right now because I forgot my camera. And then I was like, fuck, I'm just not gonna vlog. Fuck it, whatever. And then I just realized that I'm actually gonna do a couple of things while I'm out in Jersey right now. So I decided I was gonna pick up the camera, but I went to go pick up some breakfast from this cafe called Koopa Cafe. I got some avocado toast looks so good i'm gonna eat that once i get back to where i'm going um and then i also got a salted caramel coffee or a salted caramel latte so with oat milk i don't usually get salted caramel flavor i usually get vanilla but i want to try this so let's try it also right now i don't have a case on my phone so it's like hard to prop it up because i was out the other night and i went I was out the other night and I was in the bathroom and I was about to listen to a voice message from my friends and I literally dropped it in my piss. Like I didn't flush the toilet. Like I literally, I didn't flush the toilet yet. Like I just started listening to the voice message and I dropped it right in the toilet. So I didn't really want to wear the case on it because that was gross. So actually I might get another case later. I think I want to go to the mall. I look so fucking tired. I think I might go to the mall. I think I might go to the mall later and get a few things, but we'll see. But here's some coffee. But here's the coffee. Let's try it. It's actually really good. This coffee, this the place that I get this coffee from, is so good. I tried it by accident one time and I was obsessed with it. And every single time I get it, it's the perfect amount of sweet and the perfect amount of like coffee flavor. So I'm just gonna keep going here. Okay, right now I'm gonna go to go run and do this job really quick. And then after I'm gonna go to the mall, there's a couple of things that I wanna pick up. I'm not going too crazy. I'm going on vacation next week. So I might just like look for a couple things there, but I don't really need much. I might just look at like heels that they have. And then also I want, more skin sleep set because kim k did something with her fabric like i don't the fabric that she picks is so nice it's so good um so i want a couple more of those i want to look for a scarf then i saw this lip gloss on tiktok so i want that <laughs> i want to try to find it so that's what we're gonna do it's so dark Okay, I just got home. Now I'm back on my camera. I am gonna make this like frozen pasta thing from Trader Joe's really quick because I have to go to my training appointment in like 20 minutes. Actually like like an hour, but like I have to leave earlier than that. Um, so quickly um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got I didn't get anything super crazy I looked at the skim stuff and uh, they did have the bottoms that I wanted but they were size large which honestly like skims larges look like an extra small. So I'm sure I can make them work, but I was just like, no, like if I'm gonna be, I was just like, no, let me just find something else. Um, which I didn't find anything else. So I mostly wanted to go in there because I wanted a scarf. Like I really want like a big bulky scarf. So I got this from Nordstrom and this is exactly what I was looking for. Like, I want one that I can just wear like this or wear it like this, like, just super fluffy. And yeah, it's cute. It has like these little tassels at the bottom. And then it's like this print. <laughs> I don't know. Super cute for the winter. I Honestly, I've never owned a scarf, so I feel like this is overdue that I needed this, but I thought this would be really cute with some of the jackets that I have. 
as a little accessory. And then I just got this set. It didn't come as a set, I just got it as a set, just for something cute. I got, it's just blue and lace, and then I got the matching thong to go with it. Cute. I feel like every time I go to the store, I always buy underwear because I feel like you, I feel like that's something that you can't have too much of. Like, I feel like you just have to have a lot of underwear. And I like to have a lot of options, okay, to wear. I feel like every time I go, I just get new underwear. And honestly, the other week I went to um, Victoria's Secret and I got underwear and I literally spent $100 on three pairs. And I was like, oh, I'll never fucking come in here again. First of all, your underwear is not even comfortable. And second of all, what the fuck? Like, that's so expensive. And honestly, Nordstrom isn't that cheap either for a pair of underwear. Like... They had like a little pack of like hanky panky. Like I don't know if that's like a good brand for underwear or something. And they were like $120 for three pairs of underwear. I was like, you got me fucked up. These are ugly. Like they were ugly too. They were like regular lace underwear that you could get from Walmart for $4. But yeah, honestly, I actually got some good undies from Target. They actually have cute ones too. And they're, they're like $6 it's cheaper. But like when did underwear start becoming like $30 for one pair? or 40, that's ridiculous. But I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go to my training appointment. I might record, I might not, it just depends. How I'm feeling when I get there and how busy it is because my other trainer is back from his little break and um, so now there's like triple training sessions going on instead of like one-on-one -on -one that I've been doing. Well, there are three separate ones but they're all going on at the same time so like obviously I don't wanna get other people in the clips while they're working out, so we'll see. Okay, it's a bit later. I took a shower and everything, ate some food that I had left over, and now I'm gonna do a face mask. It's Thursday. I guess I'm taking it easy tonight. I don't know. I like want to do something, but I also really don't. I don't wanna go anywhere. I don't wanna drink. Um, so. We're gonna say it, and we're gonna enjoy, I guess, our own time <laughs> for like the 10th time this week. I really just don't wanna drink. I like want to socialize, but I also don't wanna socialize, if that makes sense. Like, I wanna socialize to an extent and then not have to do it again. Okay, so I'm gonna put a face mask on, and I have my jammies on. It's literally eight o'clock. <laughs> I already ate, like I'm, I'm in bed, I'm, I'm in home tonight. I don't know what face mask I want to use though. I have this one which clears your pores. I like this one. It's a charcoal mask. Or I have this one which is like a retexturizing mask. I might do this one because I think this one, I think this one worked like pretty well. So I'm going to use this. Kind of separate it. I feel like you should shake it up. Oh, I love this little cute headband. My friend got me this. I don't know where she got it from. Maybe Amazon or like Forever 21 or something like that. But she got it for me for Christmas last year. Shout out Bella. Um, and this sleep set is from H&M. But I'm not doing a full face because I don't feel like having to take off the whole mask. <laughs> But I have a lot of texture right here in the middle of my forehead, so we're gonna focus right there for sure. I thought about going to Target and getting the little pimple patches too. I don't really have that big of pimples. I just have like pores, and that's why I kinda wanna use this mask. Retexturizing. I don't know how this is going to fix that, but whatever. This is a rose clay mask origin from Origins. I have like a little sample of it. This probably expired. Honestly, like, tell me the truth. <laughs> Honestly, tell me the truth. Do you guys really check the expiration? Do you guys really like throw your shit away after the expiration date? Like, I know it's bad and you can get like chemical burns and shit like that, but like, to be honest, like, I think I threw away my naked, my naked palette, like, probably like two years ago. <laughs> I 
I'm not kidding. I think I threw it away during COVID. And that was my eyeshadow palette. Like, that's disgusting. And I have no shame in it because honestly, it's just like, I, there's no way I'm using a, a fucking eyeshadow palette within a month. And I don't even wear eyeshadow anymore. So that's why I decided like, oh, I'm just going to throw it away. Okay, now for the nose, I'm going to use my finger because it's hard to use the little wand. I would love to go get a facial. I have these razors for my face. But I do not know where I put them. I think they're in my, I think they're in my uh, suitcase. So I actually might check in there. Um, there's a lot up here. Okay, that looks good. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. I think I'm really just gonna chill like in my house and not do anything because I just, like I said, I don't want to drink. I don't really feel like getting ready. I don't want to like do my makeup. It's still early, so like if I had to, like I could. Like literally when I used to go out all the time, I um, didn't even, I don't, I when I go out, like I don't really go out until like 12, <laughs> like 10 or 11, but I used to go out so often. And so late, like, don't get me wrong, like, I still go out, but, like, when I first, like, got introduced to, like, clubs and bars and stuff like that, like, me and my friends were going out from Wednesday to sometimes even Sunday. Like, we were spending most of our times out clubbing, and honestly, like, after I got my boobs done, that's, like, kind of when we all, like, stopped. My friend got booed up a little bit. I was, like, in a little situation and we just like did like casual nights out and honestly like i prefer it this way because i was like kind of just honestly like i didn't have anything to do the next day like i really just you know went to work or went out and then you know i'm not going to work the next day until like 10 p.m so i have like the day to be lazy but i just hate being lazy i hate being hungover like i actually like just saving that for the weekends now. Like I'm so grown, I'm so grown now. Um, but don't get me wrong, if you see me out like three, four days a week again, like, I don't know. I think I was like going through a little, like, I don't know, I was going through like a change of pace. Like I never, when I was younger, like I partied, but when, like I never went to like a club and shit like that. Like I turned 21 right before COVID like the summer before COVID happened, summer 2019. And then none of my friends were, or like my boyfriend at the time, like he wasn't 21. And then like my friends didn't really go out. So if we drank, it was like, we were drinking at like their house with like a couple friends, like playing punk, like very like childlike, very like um, young vibes. And then I moved to this building and I met a bunch of people and then we all started going out and it was actually really fun. And then, you know, got into the swing of things. We were like, holy shit, we can drink for free. We can party for free. We're in a section. Like we don't have to be around these people. Like we, it was so new to us and we were just like thriving off of it. Like we just had major FOMO. Like we were like ready to go out every single night. And then, you know, my friend got a job most of the time during the day and then my other friend got like boot up, whatever. So we haven't really been out that much. Um, I go out like a couple times with some friends, but it's really not like it used to be. Like before we were staying out until like 8 p.m. Or what? No, we were staying out until like 4, 5, 6 a.m. Now it's like it hits like 1 a.m. and I'm ready to go home. Like I'm like, all right, like, or I'll stay. You know, I usually stay till two, like when it's closed. And then I'm like, all right, yeah, let's go home. Like. No more after hour shit, like, I don't know. It's just like, after like two, I feel like everything is just like, it, it's just not as fun. It's just like, everybody looks so tired. 
Everybody just looks so tired, so worn out, and they're just like, keep going because they don't want to go home yet. And it doesn't even look that fun anymore. Like, it used to be so much fun, and now it's not. But, yeah. Anyway, it's Thursday, so I don't need to go out. But I'm just bored. Like, I don't want to be on my phone anymore. Do you guys have any suggestions? I'm not going to read a book either, so don't suggest that. Um, I just, like, I do not have the attention span to sit there and read a book. But if you guys have any other suggestions, things to do, like going out to do at night without drinking, and not the movies either. I don't want to go to the movies. There's no good movies out right now. But if you can figure something out, let me know because I struggle with that. And I don't know. Like I literally might just go get fucking ice cream because I'm bored. I don't even want ice cream. I don't know. We'll see. Such a beautiful day outside. Look at this. Skyline, there's not even a cloud in sight. Just perfectly blue, perfectly sunny. It's like 70 degrees outside. It's so refreshing. I, lo I love this weather. Good morning. Okay. Hey guys, it is a couple of days later. So it's Saturday. I went and just picked up some coffee and some food I totally forgot to film. And honestly, there were so many people outside. I wasn't gonna do that. I was also like parked illegally. So I was just trying to run in and grab my food as fast as I could. But I went, grabbed a vanilla oat latte, which is actually very good today. I'm very happy. This morning, I literally woke up and just cleaned my entire house. Um, I don't know, like I woke up and I was still like very groggy. I went out last night, but it wasn't like super entertaining. So I didn't film it, so I'm just gonna do it today, but um, yeah, I then had like, kind of have been dealing with like stomach issues all week. And like, I just like kept waking up like throughout the night having to use the bathroom. And I feel like I just didn't get that much sleep, but I woke up like super tired. And I was like, no, you're not using this as an excuse. You're not going back to bed, bitch. Get the fuck up and start cleaning your house. So I literally cleaned everything, swept, mopped, vacuumed all of the stuff, did all my laundry, and it feels really good. <laughs> Refreshing. So now I just rewarded myself with a sandwich. Bro, this looks so fucking good. I, I have to show you this way. I got um, a hot, it's called the Broad Street Bully. It's like a hot Italian sandwich, pretty much. It has, what does it have on there? Okay, I think it has like prosciutto, Hot Capicola, something else, some hot pepper flakes on there. Um, long hot tomato, um, arugula, but I'm definitely not gonna eat this entire sandwich, so. This is fucking huge, but this looks so good. And I'm excited to try it. I've never eaten from this place before, but it just sounded really good. And I don't know why I was like craving like a really nice hokey. But I'm also kind of an idiot because I literally just told you how I've been having stomach issues. I literally just told you how I've been having stomach issues and this definitely, a spicy sandwich definitely like is not the smartest thing to do at the moment. But what side do I want? Let's go for this big boy side over here because probably won't be both of them, but. It was not the smartest thing to order a spicy sandwich, but fuck it. We're gonna, we're gonna go with it. Or like all this fucking meat. But I don't care, I'm home, so. It's just like, it's okay, it's not. First of all, there's a shit ton of fucking meat on it, which I don't really need. I mean, shout out them for like, actually like giving me a amount. <laughs> But, but, okay, one more. I gotta get like all the shit in the bite. Okay. Mm. I need vinegar. I need to make some. It definitely needs vinegar. 
it's good. Like, it's not bad. Like, the meat's quality and the flavors, like, work well. But there's something missing. Maybe I'm just, like, not getting to it all. But I think I might put some mayo on it, too. Yeah, I'm going to remake it myself. But I'm going to eat this. And then just I have a few more loads of laundry that I have to do. So I'm going to do that. And then um, I'm just going to get ready. I already like half did my makeup because when I do. So, okay. When I do the uh, Anastasia brow freeze, the key to using that stuff is to literally have no moisturizer on your face. So the minute I step out of the shower and my face is dry as fuck, I put the stuff on it and I let it sit for a while and then I go back and I put my moisturizer on once it's like completely dry because if there's literally any bit of moisturizer or moisture or oil or anything like that on your face and you put this on it doesn't work and I feel like that's why a lot of people are like oh my god it doesn't work for me because it it if you have any oil or moisturizer on your face it's not gonna work so that's the key to using that so I use my tinted moisturizer or with mix it I mix it with my moisturizer so I like did the base of my face pretty much and then I just have to do everything else to it but I don't know what I'm doing today I really don't I'm just I'm going with the flow of things I'm like in such a good mood I feel like it was the shrimps but um yeah I'm in such a good mood I feel like super happy content with life today and it's such a beautiful day. I feel like I need to go out to the city and like do some shit because it's just too nice of a day to sit inside. But I'm gonna eat this and then we'll get on with the video. I just, I just got some Amazon packages. So I'm gonna open them with you. Make sure I'm gonna bring you guys over here. Yeah, I just got, just got some Amazon packages that I'm gonna open right now. Um, I already know what like half of this is because a lot of it, all of it actually is Halloween stuff. I'm not telling you guys what I'm gonna be yet, but I'm gonna do like a whole video of me getting ready and stuff because I'm going hard this year, I swear. I'm doing like a couple's costume with my friend um, because there's, we're going to this party and there's like a whole like costume contest and stuff, so we're gonna go hard. I was gonna be a vampire before uh, we decided this. So I ended up getting vampire fangs, which is fine because I might go to two parties, but I got some vampire fangs. Oh my God, these actually look very good quality. Cool, they come with like three different sizes. I can use these on a different night or next year as well because every year, oh my God, I'm really running out of storage. Because every year I decide to be a vampire at some point. I don't know why. I just like it. I think it's like the easiest, sexiest, um, like, thing, like, costume. And this year I was like, okay, I'll be a vampire, but I'm just going to go, like, super hard. Like, I'm just going to go hard as fuck on the costume. And then my friend texted me and was like, we should do this couple costumes so we can win not win, but like, so we can like actually like have an attempt at the costume contest. So yeah, then I got, so this package is wig glue. Cause I got a wig for what I'm going to be. And you guys should try to guess what I'm going to be. I mean, you might actually already see by the time this video is up, you might already see, <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, this is just wig glue and like the whole shebang because I got a actual like lace front wig because I wanted it to actually look very natural. I didn't want it to look like one of them cheap ass wigs that like literally look like a wig on your head. I wanted it to actually look like it could be my hair. Whatnot. I, I want it to still look good. Like I'm not just getting the wig to get a wig. So it comes with this thing, which I think, I don't know guys, I'm gonna have to look up a bunch of videos and if I can't get it, I'm, gonna just get someone to put it on me um but yeah it comes with all this stuff the edge stuff um another one of these Ooh, 
wig remover, hair wax stick, lace wig adhesive, and some edge control. Uh, okay. Cool, I think I'm like good with that. And then I also got, I didn't know this came with wig caps, but I got wig caps because I wasn't sure if the wig came with a wig cap or not. So this is the wig, I think. I'm excited to see what this looks like. Okay. Wow. I got a long ass wig. This came with a wig cap too. Okay. This is the wig. Can you guys guess what I'm gonna be? And okay, I looked at the reviews too and people said that this was a good wig, which I don't really care like about the quality of it really as long as it just looks good for the night because obviously I'm not going to be like reusing it. But yeah, I just want to see. I kind of want to just see. I'm like, I definitely am not going to look good in black hair, but let's see. It's actually like a very nice wig. You try to guess what I'm going to be. I was going to be a vampire, but I'm not anymore. Wow, this actually looks very natural. Let's see. Okay. Obviously, it's like not how you put it on. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I actually kind of want to like try to put it on just to see what it will look like. Like, not like actually do it, but wow, this is actually very good quality. I will link all the stuff that I bought for my costume down below or down below on the video that I actually do. Um, this video will be up but this actually looks very good quality like it actually has like a good part and shit guys i've literally watched like so many wig install videos because when they come up on my for you page i just think that they're so like i don't know they're just so entertaining like i actually like watching them put it on so i was like i feel like i can do it but i feel like it's definitely harder than it looks or harder than i think that it is but i, I kind of want to try this on and see what it looks like but this is hilarious I actually can't wait to wear it. This is like the first time that I'm actually going hard for Halloween, like hard, hard, like putting a fucking wig on and like doing the makeup and like going hard with the everything. Like, uh, I don't know, I'm excited though. But yeah, that's everything that I got. Um, I have a couple more things coming in, but they're not gonna be here today. So I also got some more stuff to install this. So hopefully it works, but this is actually a very good quality wig. And I will link this down below. And then it will also be linked down below on my Halloween Get Ready With Me video. So, yes, that's, this is the wig, long as shit. It's actually very good quality. Like I would wear that, like it feels like my hair. Feels like my hair. It's a little bit later, I just got changed. I am going to Atlantic City tonight and I'm going to a concert. I just figured out that plan. I didn't know that I was doing that until literally like 10 minutes ago, but that's the plan tonight. I'm gonna go to Atlantic City and go see Bob Moses. Not really my type of music. It's my friend. My friend like, so I went to go to a concert here before and we missed him. So he's back in the area again, but he's in Atlantic City. So my friend and I are gonna go see him tonight. So I'm out of storage. So I am gonna show you guys my outfit. I'm not really like a big fan of this person. I don't really, I don't really know this person or their music or anything like that. I think it's like hippie type music, which whatever, I vibe to that. I don't really care, but this is the fit. Definitely not the vibe that everybody else is gonna be wearing, but I actually had this outfit planned before I found out where I was going and I don't wanna change because I like it. So I'm gonna give you the, so I'm gonna give you the details. Well, let me give you the full view and then I'm gonna, wear my puffer jacket as well just in case it gets cold but i'm just wearing this mason margella um bodysuit long sleeve bodysuit with this tiger mist leather skirt this is actually my friend bella's and then i'm wearing my stella mccartney little motorcycle boot vibes and then i just have my hair straight I straightened my hair like a couple days ago and well, I straightened my hair yesterday <laughs> and 
That's just how I'm wearing it. I need to put my lipstick on. I might wear, I put my lipstick on still. I'm gonna wear this jacket, I believe. I don't know, actually. I might wear this puffer. I feel like this is like way too thick for, I feel like this is just like too thick. It's not that hot, it's not that cold out. So I also have this, it's pretty much, I have this, hold on. I feel like this looks too biker gang. <laughs> this looks too biker gang and also I just know that my friend is literally gonna match me. Because every time, every time I hang out with my friend, he sees what I'm wearing and then he color coordinates his outfits. I, I don't think that he <laughs> thinks that I know, but I notice. Like, he literally matches me every single time. And he has a leather jacket, and I just know if I show up in this leather jacket, he's gonna, he's gonna wear it. And we're just gonna look too matchy-matchy. I'm just not about to do that. I don't care if we're wearing, like, the same colors, but... No, like... Like, no. I'm sorry, no. So I think I'm just gonna go with the trench coat that I've been wearing. And white box. I think this looks the best. Um, I just need to let roll it. But yeah, like literally the other day we were wearing, I was wearing black cargo pants, a black bodysuit, and then just some white sneakers. This man comes out with black cargo pants, black shirt, black boot. We literally look like we we're about to go into a jungle and like start knocking down trees and shit. Like I was like, we look to matchy matchy but i'm gonna put my lipstick on then i'm gonna head over there and then we're gonna head to atlantic city